His word brings healing. So this is one of the common ways that God administers his healing into your life and mine. And so this Sunday morning, I want to just encourage us along that line. In the Bible, it's very, very clear, and many of us will agree, that God works through his words. God works through his Word. Psalm 33, verses 6 and 9, it says, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Verse 9, he commanded, and it stood fast. He spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. That's it. By the word of the Lord, he commanded, he spoke, it was done done. When you come into the New Testament, the New Testament reiterates this for us. Hebrews 11 and verse 3, and the Bible says, by faith we understand that the heavens were framed by the word of God. The heavens were framed by the word of God, so that things which are were not made by things which are visible. In other words, the the visible came out of the invisible. The natural came out of the spiritual. And not only were things created by the Word, but the Word of God upholds, it regulates, it sustains, it's, it keeps everything in place. You read about that in Hebrews 1 and verse 3. It talks about Jesus Christ who is the image of God. It says, upholding all things by the Word of His power. So this entire universe is sustained, it's regulated, it's kept in place, it's, it's run by the Word of God. Are you listening? That's how powerful the Word is. And so when God wants to administer healing to you, to me, when God wants to work a miracle in your life, bring about deliverance, a change in your situation, turn sickness to health, turn poverty to prosperity, uh, deliver us from our bondages so that we could, be, uh, we could be free, walk in liberty, to heal our mind, our emotions. How, how would he do it? Same way. But I want us to just get an understanding of how great is the power of God's Word. The entire universe was formed and created and it's being upheld by the Word of God. And so when God wants to administer healing to you and me, He uses His Word. Psalm 107, verse 20, we're all familiar with these scriptures. He, let's read it, let's say it together. He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Jesus went about teaching, preaching, and healing. Matthew chapter 4, verses 23 and 24 Bible says, and Jesus went about all Galilee. What was he doing? Teaching. Preaching. And healing. So this is how he ministered to the masses, the multitudes. People came. He spent time teaching and preaching. That means he taught them the word. He preached the good news of the kingdom. And then the healing and the miracles followed. How did he minister? It was always like this. He taught, preached, and healed. They came to hear and to be healed. So the hearing of the word of God is so important to, the, to receiving healing from God. Look at this beautiful example in Acts the 14th chapter. So obviously Paul was preaching. And what Paul preached built faith in his heart. This man heard Paul preach. Faith began to rise. And then what happened? It says Paul perceived that this man had faith to be healed. See, so we need to hear the word because faith comes by hearing the word of God. Exodus 15, verse 26. The Lord said, I am the Lord who heals you. James chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. James is writing, he's writing to believers. Is anyone, so nobody's excluded. Everybody here is included 
in that anyone. Is anyone among you sick? What's his instruction? I didn't call for the elders of the church. You know, call for some people who can pray for you. Call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. That's where the power is. It's in the name. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will heal the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. The prayer of faith will heal the sick. The Lord will raise him up. We just have to believe that.